I'm just about to reveal how regular people make thousands of dollars online by dropshipping jewelry on Shopify, so let's get started. Right off the bat, there's a very important thing we need to mention. Most people seem to think that finding cheap jewelry on AliExpress and selling it for a higher price is going to work. But let me tell you, that's not going to work. You see, in 2022, the competition is not as friendly as it used to be a few years back. And that's why product research is a lot more important than you might imagine. Here's what I mean. Let's just see that I will connect to AliExpress.com and search for jewelry for women right i can just type that in hit enter and then take a look at the search results and so in theory what i can do right now is pick one of these at random then create my own e-commerce store through shopify and sell it for a higher price so i can just purchase it for one or two dollars and sell it for 15 but your chances of making some decent amounts of money with these items are very very slim and that is because these items are just too generic there is nothing unique about them these are just some random pieces of jewelry they are not high quality, they don't look great. Nobody is going to be interested in purchasing some cheap, crappy items, right? And that is why you need to do a little bit more work when it comes to product selection. And I'm here to help you out. What you want to do is niche down. So here's an example. Instead of just searching for jewelry for women, how about we go for handmade jewelry? The more we niche down, the more friendly the competition will be. And take a look at this. Now, you may not necessarily like the aesthetics of these items, but they are certainly a lot more unique and a lot more interesting than than the previous ones. Or here's another example. What about raisin jewelry for women? Again, we're talking about a more specific niche and this one actually have a pretty unique look. Now, I'm not saying that customers will come rushing to your door to purchase these items, but we are starting to get there. The bottom line is this. If you want to make money dropshipping jewelry on Shopify, you need to do a little bit of work when it comes to finding some cool products that people genuinely want to purchase. Otherwise, you're just wasting your time and you're competing against so many other sellers is that it's virtually pointless for you to even implement the process. But now, once you understand how important product selection is, we can take it one step further. Guys, here's the thing. If you connect to TikTok.com and you search for this exact phrase right here, TikTok made me buy it, and then you also add the keyword jewelry, you will find a lot of videos that have great engagement. I mean, this one has got 4.5 million views. Here's another one with 300,000, and the list goes on. But perhaps the most impressive one is this one right here. This is a jewelry cleaning gap gadget, right? And this video is basically just a product review. This content creator just bought it off of a website and then they started using it while recording. And that's enough to generate 354,000 views. But what's really impressive about this video is that this is a dropshipping product. Let me illustrate that. I'm just going to connect to AliExpress.com once again and search for a jewelry cleaning tool. And there you have it. You can literally purchase this exact same item for about $10 on AliExpress. And here's an even cheaper option for five bucks. But let's also connect to Amazon and do the same thing. Let's search for the same exact phrase. Well, it shouldn't necessarily come as a surprise that very similar products are selling for 30 to $40 this time. And this is just another example of the dropshipping model done right in the jewelry niche. Instead of trying to find some very cool jewelry items, which is kind of difficult because this is very subjective, what you can do is focus on functionality instead. That's exactly what all of these guys are doing with the jewelry cleaning tool. They probably purchased that on AliExpress for $10 or so and they are selling it on Amazon for a little bit more. Well, it's actually a lot more. That's a huge profit margin. And so guys, how about this idea? Instead of trying to sell jewelry using our e-commerce store that we can build through Shopify, which is a very oversaturated niche that people have been taking advantage of for a while now, why not try to do something a little bit different? At the end of the day, dropshipping is all about finding unique products that people genuinely want to purchase. And you can sell a bunch of other very relevant items apart from the cleaners themselves. I mean, if you search for jewelry cleaning on AliExpress, you will have all of these other accessories that you can also sell. So let's just say that somebody has purchased the cleaner from you, right? From your e-commerce store that you've built through Shopify. Well, the next thing they're gonna need is this liquid. And then the next thing they're gonna need perhaps is one of these polishing cloths. They might also want to purchase this cleaning polish powder for silverware and I could keep on going. There are literally so many different items that you can resell. Here's another interesting one that you can purchase for $3 and 
probably sell for 10 and the list goes on and on and on. You can literally build an e-commerce store that is centered around this theme, which is all about cleaning jewelry and not necessarily purchasing it. And all in all, I think that niche is a lot more appropriate and a lot more enticing than trying to sell some ugly items on your e-commerce store, which nobody wants. But now guys, that's not all. Let's just imagine that we have already built our online store through Shopify. We have listed our items. Everything looks perfect, but we are still not generating sales because people cannot find our website. We are not driving any traffic to it. Now, what most people do, most beginners do, and this is a huge mistake, is they run to paid ads, Facebook ads, Google search ads, and so on. It might work. You might get a few sales here and there, but keeping things profitable is really, really difficult if you don't know what you're doing. So instead of just running for paid ads, I would focus on organic marketing and influencer marketing. And here's what I mean. Guys, let's get back to TikTok for a second. If you search for jewelry cleaner, you will find all of these product reviews, right? Most of them are recorded with a standard mobile phone, not any professional equipment, and they're very basic. It's just someone playing around with a gadget. That's all it takes to get 230,000 views, 6 million views, and I could keep on scrolling. 1.9 million, and the list goes on. For some reason, the TikTok algorithm gives anyone an equal chance, which means that you actually have a pretty good chance of also getting a viral video sooner or later. So what you can do, apart from setting up your store, is trying to leverage social media to drive some more traffic to it. I'm also talking about TikTok, perhaps YouTube Shorts as well. You can start posting content and using it for traffic. That's how you drive all of that attention to your store. And that's how you can get a lot of sales without any advertising expenses. All you gotta do is just trade a little bit of your spare time, record some of those product reviews, keep on posting, and at some point, the results will be spectacular if you're consistent about it. And when it comes to influencer marketing, here's how that works. Let me just connect to youtube.com for a second, and then I'm gonna search for jewelry reviews. It may sound a little bit random, but it's not. It will make sense in just a second. What we are trying to find now are content creators that are posting content centered around this theme that's all about about jewelry but they don't have a huge subscriber base this one would be a pretty good example they have about 6,000 subscribers a channel that seems to be centered around jewelry and beauty items so this is still pretty good and if we take a look at their most popular uploads they've got a few very popular videos so that means there's a lot of potential here for this channel to grow in the coming months so what we can do up next is try to reach out to them and try to partner up. In other words, you can pay them for a product review video. You can just send them one of your jewelry cleaners, let them use it in a video, just share their thoughts about it. And if your product is good, the review will also be positive. And that's how you can get a lot of traffic and a lot of eyeballs for a very low price. Again, we're talking about upcoming content creators. Don't go for established channels because those ones will charge a lot. And you're basically undermining the whole point of this process which is keeping the expenses on track. And that is literally all you need to drive traffic. Posting content on social media so that hopefully at some point one of your videos can also go viral, especially if you're posting on TikTok, and then doing a bunch of influencer marketing as well. Basically, taking the profit and reinvesting it, trying to get even more and more and more clients. And something else you can do to maximize your profits here is also take advantage of the Shopify discount codes. Whenever you partner up with one of these influencers, you can just create the discount code for them that gives people a 10, 15, 20% discount. So if they are followers, if they are subscribers, purchase the item, they will get a big discount. So it's a win-win situation for everyone. But at this point, you've got all the resources you need to make it work. So that's it for now and thanks for watching.